What was that terrible noise, darling? A pile of stuff fell off a shelf in the cellar. I pulled just a little bit on a clothesline and nearly had my skull crushed by a sewing machine. <laughs> Those things do happen. Uh, have you been up to that shelf for anything lately? Oh, no. Why? <laughs> because, well, everything was poised to fall, darling. Are you blaming me? Oh, blaming your carelessness, yes. I arranged those suitcases up there, and I'd never put them so that they'd fall at a mere touch. No, I'm not saying... Blaming my carelessness? Now, what I'm getting at, my dear, is that you want something to happen to you, whether you realize it or not. But you've got to be more careful, Olivia. Oh, oh darling, please don't cry. I'm trying to help. I'm not criticizing. I know. Lauren, you're good my life. It doesn't seem worth living anymore, I, I suppose. I don't mean that I'm trying to end my life. You are still thinking of your... <gasps> young man, Stefan. You made me promise not to think of him. So I have it. I swear it, Lauren. But I, I can't help it. I still love Stefan. Done now. She probably got and killed herself. I'm coming, darling. I'm coming. to be. Well? He's dead. Finally got him. We must have used every trick in the book. I'd say this one looks pretty accidental, wouldn't you? No one could prove it wasn't. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I must go. Oh, couldn't you stay for a little while, Steph? Uh, you'll have to phone the police. Well, I know. I just thought that perhaps before I called, we, we might... Uh, hmm? I can't. Uh, I have a rehearsal today for a very important audition. Oh! It's a fantastic part. If I get it, it will do wonders for my acting career. I want to be your career from now on, darling. Olivia, acting is very important to me. Now, you know that. Yes, Stefan, I do. I'll try to be more patient. Please forgive me. I do, Olivia. When will I see you? Uh, next Thursday in front of the plaza, usual time. Not till next Thursday. But, Stefan... Olivia, I have a full schedule of rehearsals. But... Olivia, you promised to be patient. I love you, Stefan. Love you, too, Olivia. Mm. <sighs> I was upstairs in bed reading when I heard a terrible crash. I, I, I came down and... I warned him so many times, but he, he was careless, forgetful. <laughs> Apartment 5. Aye, aye, that I did. An I order of fried that rice. One of the That's fried. Some beef lo mein. Lo mein. Egg for young. What? What? Oh. Mm. 
<laughs> and, I love egg foo. And some egg foo young. Plenty of duck sauce and hot mustard. Lots of duck sauce and hot mustard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Oh. Oh. Mm. No more rehearsing? Lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let it ring. I can't. It might be an agent, a producer, it might even be a part of a Broadway play. Hello. Olivia, darling, how extraordinary. I was, uh, I was just this moment going to call you. Don't you remember? We, we had a date today at the plaza. Ah, uh, a date today at the plaza. No, I, I didn't uh, forget. As a matter of fact, that's just what I was going to call you about, Olivia, my darling. <laughs> Olivia, my darling. <laughs> was that a woman? No, that was not a woman you heard. That was just uh, an actress. Uh, Olivia, look, let's just start fresh, huh, sweetheart? Let's make it tomorrow. Same time, same place, okay? to be more responsible. It takes over an hour on the train to get to town. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. And do try to be prompt. Did he really say she's not a woman? She's just an actress? That's bizarre. Who's Olivia? A woman friend, a patron of sorts. Um, is she rich? Her late husband had all the money. Depends on what he did with it. Do you love her? Who loves anybody anymore? Let's just say, I appreciate her. As much as you appreciate me? As much. But for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the Chinese food. I'm starved. Olivia, you have no right to suspect me of anything more than diligently practicing my art. What you see here is the second act of a new bedroom farce that may star Stephen Shaw next season on Broadway. He's telling the truth, honey. We are rehearsing a bedroom farce. Ha! You ordered a Chinese food, lady? No, I did not order the Chinese food. Olivia, Olivia, now you must believe me. It was a rehearsal, just a rehearsal. If I get this part, well, it's what I have dreamed of. And Olivia, I've also dreamed of someday sharing a life with you. Hey, mister, you ordered Chinese food? Yeah. If, if that's true, Stefan, then let's make that someday soon. The millions of dollars I inherited mean nothing without you. You really love me? With all my heart, my love. Great rehearsal, Steph. Don't forget me if you get the part. <laughs> so happy. I want so much to make you as happy. Let's take a trip around the world. Mm. It'll be our honeymoon. Mm, wonderful. I would love to travel Greece, Africa, Asia. And speaking of Asia, would you like some egg foo young? Egg foo what? Young, dear. Egg foo young. It's a Chinese dish. Would you like some? Certainly not. I detest Chinese food.
dollars out of 50. Keep the change. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Stefan, you are so awful. Can't you control yourself? I guess not. I've suffered nothing but humiliation during our, our honeymoon. Except for the time in Singapore. You never once looked at me lovingly. And you only did then because I paid off that Korean book you owed $4,000. You don't love me at all, Stefan. I think you're being insensitive, Olivia. Oh, insensitive indeed. What about that little co-ed cabbie? You just tipped $32 of my money. Your money means nothing to me. Why is it so cold in this house? Because the heat's been off. Can we turn it on? Well, that's exactly what I was planning to do this moment. Ah! Oh! Ah! You ought to be more careful, Olivia. Accidents like that, I'm told, can be fatal. Stay away from me! Olivia, you don't think that I would push you. You had an accident. And accidents are, oh well, accidents. Hello? Gloria, sweetheart, it is Stefan. I am desperate. I must see you. I miss you something awful. Sounds like your marriage was a big mistake. Beyond big, I say the mistake was colossal. Well, if you're so miserable, why don't you just leave? Are you insane, part with all that money? I mean, how often does one get to be a millionaire? Well, if it's the money you want, why are you calling me? Because I want you as well. I am miserable without you. Well, you can't have everything, Steph. Why not? I mean, who says so? Me, for one. Because I'm not just going to hang around waiting for Steph and Shaw. I and mean, there are a lot of guys who are just as desperate as you are to be with me, you know. I mean, I'm very fond of you, Stefan, but if you're not available, well... I will be soon. I've got a plan. We'll be together, darling, I promise you. And we won't be poor. I love you, Gloria. Sure you do. You crazy mixed up kid. What do I have to do? Pull a star from the sky to prove it? Stop with the movie dialogue, Stefan. You told me on the phone that if I came down here, you'd give me something very, very special. So far, all we've been doing is fooling around. Fooling around? Is that how you describe my kisses? Stefan, I didn't drive 50 miles just for a little country molly. I'm beginning to think that you're... 
You're a loser, honey. Don't worry. Don't say that. Now, come on, come on. Don't do that. Uh-uh, Stephen. There's this guy I met wants to marry me. I gotta look after myself, you know. I'm going. Glory, Glory, no, listen, listen to me. Olivia, my wife, she's, well, she's, she's ill. So? Very ill. So? So? She may die soon. <gasps> Will you get married? When? After a proper period of mourning. I meant, when do you think she'll die, Stephen? This merchandise is perishable. The shelf life for lovely young ladies, as you know, is limited. In a few years, all the warranties and guarantees for little old Gloria will run out. And then where will I be? Wait a few months. No way. Donald wants to marry me. Next week, I'll be thinking about you on my wedding night, Stephen. Don't do anything that I call you, Gloria. I'm rich, you know. Very, very rich. I've got to think of something. Really, darling, I'm terribly sorry for acting so, well, suspicious of you. Suspicious? When was that, dear? Oh, when I fell on the cellar step. Oh, you are sweet for making light of it. But I did act rather foolishly. Not another word, Olivia, dear. From now on, harmony will reign upon our humble home. And suspicion and distrust will be banished forever. Freezer repair, lady. Oh, yes. The freezer's in the basement. Hey, listen, I, I got a van. Is there anywhere I can park it? You know, so I can get a little closer. Just around the corner. Right. Oh, you really are a dear, Stefan. And you, my sweetest angel. Sweets for a sweet. I needed fixing, lady. Otherwise, the freeze is working real good. Dangerous, lady. Very dangerous. You gotta keep that automatic door latch clear so the door will engage and stay open. If you was to walk in this freeze and the door slammed shut behind you, you'd freeze to death in no time. There's no inside handle on that door. You could get killed. Killed? That's right. Happened to a customer of mine a couple of years ago. A kid. He left his skateboard by the latch. I guess she never saw it when she walked in. Bam! The door slammed shut behind her. When they finally figured out where she was, it was too late. Too late, huh? That's right. Dead. She was frozen like one of them leg of lambs you got in there. I gotta go, lady.
<laughs> Darling! I searched all over that freezer. I couldn't find those darn steaks. Look, I've got to go into town, sweetheart. Would you, would you mind getting them yourself? Did you really look, Stephen? Yes. Uh, now I've got to go. All right, Stephen, I'll, I'll find them. Don't be late for dinner. I am so glad you could make it. We're going to have a wonderful evening. But is it all right for us to be together? I mean, is it really cool with her? Oh, it's definitely cool with her. <laughs> oh. oh, let's get out of here. No, 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 I adore the rain. But you'll catch your dad the call. <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, Oh, <laughs> 